One wonders where this talk could not be a dangerous issue for the security, especially for the northern region that is just emerging out of over two decades of civil war. The word secession in Uganda has been more of a taboo until recently. However, for a volatile region attempting to get back to its feet after 20 years of turmoil, skepticism lingers over the likely eventualities from the push for the Nile Republic. Even as others downplay it as a political masterstroke to catch the eyes of the regime, analysts warn it's not a vain statement. The Acholis have very many brothers in southern Sudan. So if we continue with the mess we have been in in Uganda since 1966, they can easily get fed up. It appears fear occupies certain quarters on the possibilities of chaos erupting out of the process, causing a section of the members of parliament from the region to disassociate themselves from the cause. The movers insist it is a constitutional matter that cannot lead to violence and bloodshed. I want to appeal to all members of the Greater North. Let us use this opportunity to work with everybody in this country. Let us use the numbers of our friends we have in the parliament to lobby them to collectively also lobby for the region that has been under war for a long time. The leadership from the region has got to begin thinking of plan B. And if secession is going to be the plan B, as I said, dictated upon by constitution, we are going to have to pursue the constitutional uh, requirements. So there is no cause whatsoever that at this defining moment in our history, we should separate. Probably the architects have a task at hand to ensure the process of drumming support for the move is done in a sober manner that will not portray a confrontational approach as the way forward. It appears even the president has not taken the sentiments lightly, reaching out to the MPs behind the move to ceasefire and even sanctioning some of the activities. We don't need to organize people who are already wounded to begin walking on the streets again. But uh, the president himself yesterday met the Acholi parliamentary group and allowed them to have peaceful demonstration. Something has to be done, whether they break away. Break away, we know, is not easy. That is their way they want to break away. The volatile region appears disgusted with the theft of the PRDP money and the manner in which certain issues have been handled by the state. And probably a change in the status quo could calm down the tension and bury the secessionist agenda. Sabit Joseph, Television, Parliament.